All of this desert area in the Qahr al Masrah, as far as the eye can see, used to be farmland, growing dates, bananas and tomatoes, until the authorities stopped piping water to it. Now, every sign of cultivation has gone. Local farmer Abdullah al Jafari says the land used to support 200 families. They were made to stop cultivating this area so they don't have an income anymore. It does not bring in any money because planting here has totally stopped. Now there is high unemployment. Everything stopped because of a lack of water. Jordan is the fourth driest country in the world and the people of Gahr al Mazra now grow their tomatoes and bananas on the few plots they still have water for. All their hopes are set on the long-awaited Red Sea Dead Sea project. Next year, work is due to start on a desalination plant near the Jordanian port of Aqaba, turning out fresh water, which will be piped to southern Jordan and southern Israel. The wastewater, brine, will be pumped through a pipeline into the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is already the lowest point on Earth and the water level is falling by over a meter every year. We decided with our neighbors to go ahead with this desalination plant at Aqaba on the small scale, which will produce around 100 million cubic meters per year as desalinated water. And the brine will go down to the Dead Sea. And the main task of the project is to save the Dead Sea. If this were a simple desalination project, then the cost of the water coming out of the plant at Aqaba would be about 50 cents per cubic metre. But because of the extra cost involved of pumping the brine water from the plant at Aqaba all the way to the Dead Sea, the cost of the water could be four times as much. On economic grounds, this project is dubious, says Friends of the Earth. And then there are the ecological concerns. Abdel Rahman Sultan is from Friends of the Earth Middle East. He worries about brine water from the plant adulterating the water of the Dead Sea, which is uniquely rich in salts and minerals. Scientists expect that a white color of precipitate, of gypsum precipitate, will happen on the surface. Uh, in order uh, to, this will change the Dead Sea characteristic as a beautiful spot for tourism, as a medicinal uh, spot. So people have, uh, scientists have worries from a viewpoint of view and from chemical point of view. The government of Jordan plans to build five plants in all between now and 2050 in its quest to replenish the Dead Sea. But this project alone is costing it almost a billion dollars. It may struggle to find the money to go further. Jeremy Howell, BBC News, at the Dead Sea in Jordan.